Welcome to Stellar Insights. Today, uh, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the heart of the Saturn V rocket. Exploring the intricate engine start sequences that launched humanity to the moon. It's a story of controlled power. Precision timing. And a symphony of engineering marvels designed to overcome the immense challenges of spaceflight. Each stage of this iconic rocket, the S1C, the S2, and the S4B, had its own unique engine start sequence. Absolutely. And uh, let's begin with the S1C, the first stage. Responsible for breaking free of Earth's gravitational grip. The S1C had five massive F1 engines. Each capable of generating an incredible 1.5 million pounds of thrust. 1.5 million pounds of thrust. Can you imagine the roar as those five engines ignited simultaneously, unleashing a total of 7.5 million pounds of thrust? Yeah, it's difficult to comprehend the sheer force required to lift the 363-foot-tall Saturn V off the launch pad. To ensure a smooth liftoff, the rocket was held in place by restraining arms, allowing it to rise six inches vertically before being released. Hmm. This controlled release ensured that the rocket was clear of the launch tower and building up enough thrust for a stable ascent. Safety was paramount during this critical stage. Automatic abort systems were in place, ready to activate in milliseconds if two or more engines failed. Or if the rocket experienced structural failure, or if rotation rates exceeded predetermined limits. These abort systems were designed to protect the crew and the mission highlighting the immense risks and meticulous planning involved in every launch. After the S-1C had exhausted its fuel and propelled the rocket to an altitude of about 42 miles, the second stage, the S-2, took over. The S-2 was equipped with five J-2 engines burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to produce a combined thrust of one million pounds. Before those J-2 engines could fire, a carefully choreographed sequence of events had to occur. First, the propellant lines needed to be pre-chilled to handle the extremely cold liquid hydrogen fuel. Then, small rockets called ullage rockets fired to settle the propellants in their tanks, ensuring a smooth and consistent flow to the engines. Finally, with the propellants properly settled and the engine systems primed, the J-2 engines ignited in a precisely timed sequence. The S-2's burn was crucial for achieving Earth orbit, boosting the rocket's velocity to over 15,000 miles per hour. Ground controllers meticulously monitored engine performance throughout this phase, ready to make adjustments to the trajectory if needed. This delicate balance of power and precision was essential for placing the Apollo spacecraft on course for its lunar destination. The S-2 played a vital role in the Apollo missions demonstrating the importance of a seamless transition between rocket stages. It's a testament to the engineering ingenuity that went into designing a system capable of operating flawlessly under such extreme conditions. Now let's shift our focus to the third stage, hmm. the S-4B responsible for the final push towards the moon. The S-4B had a single J-2 engine similar to those used in the S-2, but its start sequence was even more complex. Because it performed two separate burns? Yes, the first burn, a partial burn, helped to achieve a stable Earth orbit, while the second burn, known as the Translunar Injection, or TLI burn, propelled the spacecraft out of Earth's orbit and towards the Moon. The TLI burn is where the Apollo spacecraft truly began its journey to the Moon, breaking free of Earth's gravitational pull and setting course for a lunar rendezvous. The engine start sequence for each of these burns involved a delicate dance of propellant chilldown, a lidge engine firing, and precise engine ignition. Imagine the complexity of coordinating these events while traveling at thousands of miles per hour, ensuring that each step occurred flawlessly to achieve the desired trajectory. A fascinating aspect of the S-4B's engine start sequence is its use of two different mixture ratios for its two burns. For the first burn, the S-4B used a 5.0 mixture ratio of liquid oxygen to liquid hydrogen, optimizing efficiency for achieving Earth orbit. However, for the second burn, the TLI burn the mixture ratio shifted to 4.5. This change was implemented to maximize fuel usage. Correct. If a third revolution in Earth orbit was required, the 5.0 ratio was maintained. But if not switching to 4.5, allow the S-4B to use up extra fuel that would have otherwise boiled off during the additional orbit. Exactly. This clever approach highlights the engineer's dedication to efficiency and resource management. Every drop of fuel was precious in the quest to reach the moon and the S-4B's variable mixture ratio was a testament to that commitment. The S-4B played a pivotal role in the Apollo missions, demonstrating the importance of adaptability and precise engine control in deep space travel. It served as the bridge between Earth and the Moon, a testament to human ingenuity and our unwavering pursuit of exploration beyond our home planet. The engine start sequences of the Saturn V, from the thunderous roar of the S-1C to the calculated precision of the S-4B, were masterpieces of engineering. 
They showcase the intricate interplay of power control and meticulous planning that enabled humanity to achieve one of history's greatest technological feats landing on the moon. And we'll delve deeper into the safety systems and the vital role of the astronauts in these intricate engine start sequences in just a moment. The Saturn V's engine start sequences were not only feats of power and precision, but also marvels of safety and redundancy. Yeah, these missions carried immense risks and protecting the crew was paramount. To mitigate those risks, engineers implemented redundant systems at every level. Redundancy meaning having backup systems in place ready to take over if the primary system fails. Exactly. For instance, there were multiple command paths for initiating the engine start sequences. So if one path malfunctioned, another could seamlessly take over, ensuring the engines ignited as planned. Right. Fail-safe mechanisms were also incorporated designed to automatically shut down an engine if it deviated from expected performance parameters. So these fail-safe mechanisms acted like safety nets, preventing catastrophic failures and safeguarding the mission. To monitor the health of the rocket and its systems during launch, the Saturn V was equipped with a sophisticated emergency detection system, or EDS. The EDS constantly monitored engine parameters, structural integrity, and the vehicle's attitude. It acted as a vigilant guardian, analyzing data from numerous sensors to identify any anomalies that could jeopardize the mission. And if the EDS detected a critical issue? It could trigger an abort, automatically initiating a sequence of events to separate the crew module from the rocket and ensure their safe return. While the EDS provided automated protection, the astronauts themselves played a vital role in monitoring engine performance. These highly trained individuals were not passive passengers, but active participants in the launch sequence. Inside the Apollo spacecraft, the astronauts had access to an intricate display panel that provided real-time engine data. They could monitor critical parameters like chamber pressure fuel flow and engine temperatures. This data allowed the astronauts to assess engine performance and make critical decisions if necessary. If they detected an issue that the automated systems missed, they had the authority to manually initiate abort procedures. This human oversight added an additional layer of safety, ensuring that even in unforeseen circumstances, the crew's well-being remained the top priority. The Saturn V's engine start sequences were marvels of both human ingenuity and technological innovation. They represent a pinnacle of engineering achievement, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the 1960s and early 1970s. To appreciate the complexity of these systems, consider the limited computing power available at the time. Today, our smartphones possess more computing power than the entire launch control center had during the Apollo era. Yet, with those limited resources, engineers and scientists designed and built a rocket capable of safely launching humans to the moon and back. The Saturn V stands as a testament to human ambition, ingenuity, and the pursuit of scientific exploration. The Saturn V's legacy extends far beyond the Apollo missions. It sparked advancements in materials, science, computer technology, and propulsion systems. These innovations have benefited countless industries and continue to shape our technological landscape today. The Saturn V's engine star sequences were not just about launching a rocket. They were about launching a new era of human exploration yeah. and pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. And as we venture further into the cosmos, the lessons learned from these iconic launches will continue to guide us. The Saturn V serves as a timeless reminder that with ambition, ingenuity, and a spirit of collaboration, we can achieve extraordinary things. The Saturn V, it was a monumental achievement, but it also kind of marked a point of departure. In what way? Well, it's engine start sequences. They were marvels of their time. But today, uh, you know, new technologies are emerging that are shaping the future of space travel. So these advancements in propulsion systems promise to take us farther and more efficiently than ever before. That's right. What kind of technologies are we talking about? Well, one uh, one such technology is ion propulsion, yeah, which really. uh, it uses electrically charged particles to create thrust. Hmm. And how is that different from the Saturn V's engines? Well, unlike the powerful bursts of chemical rockets, you know, ion propulsion provides a gentle, continuous acceleration over extended periods. Uh, so it's more of a marathon runner than a sprinter. Exactly. And while uh, while it's not suitable for launching from Earth's surface because of its low thrust, it is incredibly efficient. Making it ideal for long-duration missions in deep space. Precisely. This efficiency makes it a prime candidate for missions to Mars and beyond, you know, allowing us to travel vast distances with minimal fuel consumption. Yeah, you also mentioned nuclear thermal propulsion. Right. Nuclear thermal propulsion, uh, it uses a nuclear reactor to heat a propellant like hydrogen to extremely high temperatures. And this superheated propellant 
is then expelled through a nozzle, generating significantly more thrust than traditional chemical rockets. That's the idea, and it could potentially shorten travel times to Mars and other destinations, opening up new possibilities for human exploration. These advancements are certainly exciting, but even with these technologies, space travel remains a formidable challenge. Absolutely. The distances are vast, the environments are harsh, and the costs are astronomical. Requiring a global effort and sustained commitment to overcome these obstacles. You got it. However, the rewards of space exploration are immense driving innovation, expanding our understanding of the universe and inspiring generations to come. No doubt about it. The Saturn V was a symbol of what we can achieve when we push the boundaries of human ingenuity. And as we continue to explore the cosmos, the lessons learned from the Saturn V's engine start sequences will serve as a foundation for even greater achievements. I think uh, the quest to explore the universe is a testament to our innate curiosity and our desire to unravel the mysteries that lie beyond our world. The Saturn V's legacy lies not only in its technological marvels, but also in the spirit of innovation, collaboration, and perseverance that it embodied. A true inspiration. It reminds us that with dedication and a shared vision, we can accomplish extraordinary things, pushing the limits of human potential and reaching for the stars. Well said. This concludes our deep dive into the engine start sequences of the Saturn V, a rocket that propelled humanity to new heights and continues to inspire us today until our next exploration. Keep looking up and marveling at the wonders of the cosmos.